Hi guys, I'm Warren Berlitua and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the proper use of hand tools and equipments. These are objectives for the day. The objectives are, first, we will identify the hand tools and equipments. Second, to demonstrate the basic use and taking care of the hand tools and equipments. And lastly, we'll see how important these hand tools and equipments are. Let's start. Here are the hand tools and equipments that I will show you guys later in this video. We will begin in electrostatic discharge or ESD. ESD is the release of static electricity when two different materials come into contact or rub together. One familiar ESD example is the static electricity we feel after drying clothes in a dryer. First is the anti-static wrist wrap. Here's what it looks like. An anti-static wrist wrap is an apparatus that helps to prevent the buildup of static electricity near sensitive electronics. It also keeps the user grounded, which helps to prevent electrostatic damage to a computer or any other electrostatic sensitive device. As you can see in the video, you need to connect it to your wrist and attach the alligator clip to a piece of metal on your computer. Next is the anti-static wrist wrap partner, the ESD mat. It is also called anti-static mat. An anti-static mat is a covering that shields an individual or a piece of equipment from static electricity discharge. ESD mat comes in different sizes. You can place it on the ground where you stand or the most common is to place it on the work surface, just like in this video. While your ESD wrap strap is connected to the piece of metal in your computer, you also need to connect the mat next to it for proper grounding. Hand tools. Hand tools are powered by hand rather than a motor. Categories of hand tools include wrenches, pliers, cutters, screwdrivers, clamps, snips, knives, and etc. The following are examples of hand tools. We have screwdrivers, and I'll show you four kinds of them. Screwdriver are type of hand tools used for the insertion and removal of screws, and they are available in many variations to fit correct screwdriver. A turning force known as torque can be applied in either a clockwise and counterclockwise direction. We have here flathead screwdriver. A simple screwdriver with a wedge-shaped flat tip used to tighten or loosen screws that have a straight linear notch in their heads. Next are Phillips screwdrivers. With Phillips heads, which have a cross-shaped recess, the alternate name is a cross screwdriver. They were invented to cope with higher torsion. The next one is a Torx screwdriver. It is typically used for vehicles, motorcycle, bicycle, computer system, hard disk drives, and consumer electronics. The usual star-shaped head makes them far more secure than regular flathead or crosshead screws. It allows higher torque transmission so screws and bolts can be tightened more securely. Lastly, the hex screwdriver. The hex screwdriver is designed to remove or drive fasteners with the hexagonal notch. It is great for turning small screws or sensitive electronic components. Under the hand tools, we also have pliers and we have two examples here. First is the needle nose pliers. It is used to manipulate wire using textured teeth. The long, thin length of these non-adjustable pliers for cutting, holding, pulling, and repositioning items in tight spaces and can reach areas other pliers can't. When working with this tool, the handle should be gripped tightly yet apply a gentle force. They are not sturdy enough to cut large, hardened wires. And please take note that they are not to be used on live electric wires. Please don't mind what I'm doing in this video. 
We also have cutting pliers. It is used for cutting wire and small pins in area that cannot be reached by larger cutting tools. It is to properly cut either wire or cable with minimal damage to insulation or internal conductor of the wire or cable. Having a clean cut on a wire or a cable can improve the quality of an electrical connection. They are also known as side cutters, flush cut pliers, side cutters pliers, wire cutters, and diagonal cutting nippers. Tweezers. Tweezers are hand tools used to grab, handle, or hold small objects or electronic parts which may not be possible to pick up and require precision and care. It is an extension of your fingers and they allow us to grab, grip, place, remove, or hold items that are too small or delicate for our fingers to manipulate. The size, shape of the items we grab, grip, place, and a hold necessitate the need of variety of tweezers, tip styles, and shapes. Next is part retriever. Part retriever, which is used to retrieve parts from locations that are not hand-fitted place. It is mainly used for retrieve screws, although it's also helpful and retrieving jam bits on the motherboard. Part retrievers come in sizes ranging from about four to nine inches. I wasn't able to have the actual one on time, but as you can see here in the picture, the outer shell is usually plastic. Although higher end retrievers can have a metal casing and reinforced inner material. You can use it for paper removal, device handling, item maneuvering, Microcleaning, small part retrieval, and minor dust removal. The flashlight. The flashlight is a portable light source that will give you vision in dark areas. It is used to light up areas that you cannot see well, and having this essential when maintaining or repairing computers. See everything ensures that computer components will not be damaged during cleaning. Speaking of cleaning, let's proceed to the cleaning tools. Cleaning your computer hardware makes the entire system run more smoothly and extend your computer's lifespan, which can save time and money. Regular cleaning protects not only your investment, but the important data stored on it as well. We can use lint-free cloth. It is a special type of cleaning cloth that does not give up a fluff when used. Being free of lint, means the cloth li less likely to build up a charge, which can cause ESD. ESD that damage electronic equipment and computer monitors or even television. Next is compressed air, which is combination of under pressure gases that remove dust and dirt from sensitive electronics. Just reminder, in using compressed air, don't tilt the can and don't shake it before or while using it, just like what I did in the part of this video. Which computers and electronics compress air? Preferred method for removing dust and dirt. Use it in an upright position and spray short even bursts. We have here cable ties. What are cable ties used for? They fasteners that bundle your cable and wires together to keep them organized and prevent damage. They come in different sizes, length, materials, and even colors. Lastly, for our cleaning tools, is a part organizer. The tool organizer varies computer parts according to the size and quantity of the computer parts. The computer part organizer is divided into various compartments by one or more removable isolation boards. This one also comes in different sizes and materials. Now, let's proceed with the diagnostic tools. Diagnostic tools determine if the system or equipment is functioning properly, as well as identify possible problems. I have here two common diagnostic tools. This is the multimeter. The multimeter is a measuring instrument that can measure quantities such as resistance, voltage, and current. Multimeters are commonly used for troubleshoot computers. Testing a power supply manually with a multimeter is one of the two 
test a power supply in a computer to confirm whether the power supply is in good condition or should be replaced. Just to demonstrate how to use the multimeter, I use a battery. I connect the multimeter leads to the battery terminals, the red probe to the battery's positive terminal, and the black probe to the battery's negative terminal. Then take the reading on the multimeter. As you can see, the multimeter show the value 1.1 volts. If the multimeter reads somewhere around the value given of the battery label, the battery works fine and is still fit to use. Lastly, is the loopback adapter, which is plugged used to test physical ports to identify network issues. It provides system test engineer with a simple but effective way of testing and transmission capability and receiver sensitivity of network equipment. Loopback adapter comes in different sizes. And in this video, we check if that port is still working by inserting the adapter. The green light indicator lit up, which means it is still working. To summarize everything we have discussed, first, we have identified different handles and equipments. Second, we have demonstrated the basic use of handles and equipments. And lastly, what is the importance of handles and equipments? The right tools help you do a better job. With the right tools, you can more work efficiently and get the job done right. It is important to select the right tools for your safety and to avoid harm to your devices or computers. And that's it. If you're unsure about what you're doing or failing in every aspect, just remember to stop, think about what makes you happy, take a deep breath, and try again.